Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show you a new game that I'm playing for fun on the side. This is a mobile game called Idle Death Knight. And if you've ever played any of the Idle games before, um, they're typically less intense mobile games where you only really need to play them like maybe 10, 20 minutes a day to keep up and then you can just let it run in the background or do whatever. Uh, you can play it more than that if you want to. But the style of the game is meant to be, you leave it idle a whole lot, it does things while you're gone, you come back, you use those resources that it gathered while you were gone, and you invest in your characters and do things and, and use them and uh, improve and uh, move along. So in this game, it is vertical, um, so the view is a little different. Uh, let me turn down the volume a little bit here. Uh, just so you can hear me. <laughs> but you can see your guy, and my guy's already, I've been playing this for a few days now, so he's already leveled up a bit. He just keeps running through and killing things. And the idea is you're just trying to improve his base stats, his levels, and build him up uh, so that his attack is stronger and he kills things faster and quicker so that you gain the resources, which are these batteries and gold from killing enemies, as well as uh, there's a lot of other currencies to it too. The idea is you upgrade your Death Knight as you go. Uh, you upgrade his skills, and they all do different things like adding additional hits, create, you know, increasing attack speed, movement speed, attack power, critical damage, critical hit chance, uh, drop chances for these different types of gear. Uh, it, it's all just kind of builds up and accumulates, and then you spend those resources later to uh, do other things. So there's also um, uh, down here at the bottom, there's a menu. So the content, there's right now, there's really only two modes outside of this uh, that you can play, which is the cow level dungeon, which gives you milk resources, as well as these orange yeah, or green crystals and then the black demon ball things. And you use that to upgrade your character skills. The milk is here, and then the upgrades require a combination of the milk plus these, uh, I forget what they're called. They look like demon balls to me. <laughs> There's also a PvP mode where you can go and you can fight other Death Knights. Uh, I haven't really got the hang of this, so I don't really do it a whole much. Uh, I just do it the five free times they give you a day and then just kind of let it do its thing. <laughs> and sometimes I forget to do that even. Um, still not quite clear on how to gauge how good an enemy is when you're choosing who to fight. Uh, but the idea is you could go through this. Um, I'm trying to level up right now, so I'm on chapter 10. 96th stage and I'm killing the first of seven monsters in this stage. As you can see my guy is struggling a little bit here. He's not killing them very fast. So what I could do is I could go up to the level up thing and see it cost me 2.360 Q gold. And so the way that this game works is every, every decimal point is a letter. Uh, once you get beyond four. So this is essentially whatever A through Q is, however many letters that is, that's that many decimal points um, or zeros uh, beyond the letter A, right? So it's, uh, I don't even know what kind of number that would be, but that's a lot of zeros. <laughs> so if I use this, it'll take it from my gold uh, number up here, 5.1 uh, Q whatever gold. So if I upgrade them to 10 levels, You'll see his damage increase there by about uh, 0.6 um, M. <laughs> and I, I don't really know how to describe the numbers in this game, but it, it's funny because they just keep going up and up and up and up, right? Um, but that's one way I can do it. I can also go to my equipment tab here, and you can see I have all these different swords. Um, but my one that's equipped right now is this one, which is what I'm using to attack. So there's the increased attack and attack speed. And if I upgrade it, like say I do one here, it'll increase the base attack power, base attack speed, base crit, uh, as well as these passives. So like when I own it, my attack is increased by yeah, 800 or 768%, right? Next level it'll be 876. I, uh, it also increases my battery acquisition, which is what you use to upgrade relics and some other things in the game. So it's good to look at each one of these swords because even if you don't have it equipped, the passive, so like this one's extra gold, uh, this one is more, a better chance of getting the Cow King to spawn, which I'll go through in a little bit. Uh, the batteries are what I use to upgrade relics, which is really important. But you can upgrade these by using your green um, crystals without actually having to equip the weapon. So like this one, battery acquisition from bosses, I don't really hit bosses that often, so it's not really that useful to me. But there's other ones like uh, reducing my Death Knight level cost. So as I level him up, he costs X amount of gold, but this is reducing that by another factor. So if I upgrade this a little bit more, he becomes slightly cheaper 
to uh, level up here, right? So that's uh, 10 levels may cost a little bit less than it used to. Um, but you want to equip your best piece of gear regardless and use that as your primary and probably level it up quite a bit. But these other ones are actually important. And so they all have different um, passives. And then there's apparently a way to transcend them, which is like a super upgrade for them. But I haven't done that yet. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so I haven't quite got there yet. The other thing you can do is if you look at some of these lesser weapons that you have five or more of, you can go to this, button, this tab up here. You can combine them. So if I combine this one, I'll actually get um, a level three version of this sword. So if I didn't already have one, I would definitely want to do that for sure because it would unlock it for me and allow me to start using the passive for that sword. But since I already have it, it would just give me six of five on this one, which doesn't really help me get another four sword and a five and then kind of do this trickle up effect of trying to combine swords and get better ones down the road because the goal right now since I have all of them unlocked except for these SS tier ones which are really low chance to drop um, I would need five of this one in order to get one here right and I would combine those and open that up so I would need to get a whole bunch of these combined up to here to combine into one of these and then do that you know four more times to get the SS two star sword right and you can see these ones are, you know, going to be difficult to find, but the, if you can get lucky on one of these drops, then, you know, you should use it. If not, take your best gear back here and do what you can. Uh, you can also dismantle stuff, but they haven't put anything in the game yet for dismantling. So, if, like, if I dismantle this one, I'm going to get, you know, what is it, uh, 10 of these silver star things, right? That doesn't do anything because the dismantle, like function doesn't do anything. Shields are the same way. It, it operates the same way. They all have passives of some sort. I have not been very lucky on shield drops. As you can see here, I'm missing most of the A and S tier, and I have no SS tier ones at all. I've gotten way more swords, or at least better drops, uh, but I may be able to get some through combinations down below. And then you also have costumes. Costumes are a way of customizing your character. You can look at them by clicking on them. See how it pops them up, and that's what your character will use. If you have it uh, unlocked, you can always equip it. And you can see, like, my guy's armor just changed. Um, I've only unlocked a few of these. Uh, like, here's one where he looks like a, uh, I don't know, he's a metal knight. That's pretty cool looking. Whatever. But these also have passive effects as well for battery acquisition, and battery acquisition alone from what I've seen. You upgrade them using the batteries, and uh, I've been getting all mine to like level 500 or so. I've heard they top out at 1,000 each, uh, but you can see there the amount of batteries goes way up once you get past about level 500, at least for where I am in the game, and so I haven't been upgrading them very much beyond that. But getting those extra batteries really helps because that's the way that you build your economy, you grow your resources, and then you can use them for other things. Uh, but that's the name of the game. So you build resources, you use them to unlock stuff like quests and whatnot. Quests are just timed gold give, uh, gold productions, so uh, you'll get gold from them every time these timers run out. There's a whole bunch that I don't have visible right now, because as you can see here, these are the lower level ones that max out at level 1000. They all give an X, X amount of gold here. Um, it varies as they go up in value. And then we get to the slower ones here. And what I need to do is I need to upgrade things like, say, uh, this relic here, the Sands of Time, increase, or it reduces the um, time it takes for those quests to complete. So if you upgrade this one a whole bunch, they go faster. So the higher level ones will finish, like, say, in a second or two. And then you'll get that gold really, really, really fast at much higher rates and much higher levels. And so that's where you can max those out and, and really get those rewards. Each one of these 28 relics has a different effect, but they are the same across the board. So if you play this game, You'll roll on relics for, I think it's 300 purple crystals a piece. They give you tons of purple crystals, don't worry. It's a very free-to-play friendly game. Um, but the idea is that you're going to get one random one each time until you get down to 27, and then whatever the last one you're missing is, it's always going to be the 28th one. So whenever you pull, it's going to be random in the order that you get them, but in the end, you're going to get the same 28 as everyone else. Um, if you max them out, certain ones do have a max level on them. I'm not sure if they all do, but some of them do. Uh, but they all do different things, extra attack, better spawn chance for uh, enemies that drop really good stuff, um, and, and all that kind of thing. You'll, you'll read through these little effects and whatnot and figure out which ones you want to invest in. Um, but in, for the most part, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You get the hang of it after you know doing it for a little while. Uh, you see this little bird that came by. Uh, what happens is if you click on him, he'll drop something for you. Sometimes it's something special like this, and you have to watch an ad in order to get that benefit. And sometimes these ads are just the craziest stuff ever. <laughs> what the hell is this shit? I don't even know. <laughs> what on earth is this? Is this a game? 
What language is this? I don't even know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, we're not downloading that. I don't know what that was. I apologize. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. That was perfect. Um, okay, so I got the bird, so he gives me extra movement speed, right? For 10 minutes, I get bonus movement speed, which just means my guy's going to go faster through these dungeons as he one-shots things. Um, another thing I can do is, since I'm in the upgrade mode, which is this button right here, I can switch back to just regular mode, where it's see how it's infinite instead of a specific chapter. And then the other cool thing is I can click on my icon here, and if I'm not killing these things very fast, I may want to drop down to, say, like, stage 9, like, go back a little bit, and then farm there. And the reason why is because see how quickly I kill these things now? So since the drop rates of monsters and stuff like that is pretty static, it doesn't really matter what level they are, the faster you kill things, the better you are at farming. Whereas if you're trying to push forward constantly, you're going to hit a wall eventually because your guy's going to be too weak to one-shot things or do them quickly. Uh, you can see there, a couple of these take a few hits, but not a big deal. A lot faster than what I was doing before. But you can go to your player profile and check your stage info in order to check that. Now, the other thing is, as you complete these stages, you also get crystals. See, I get 100 crystals every time I complete a stage. So you can see here, that's 1,000 crystals per set of stages because there's 10 of them, right? And each one of these has that. So you can go back and you can look at all of them. Now I'm on the fourth stage, right? And as I complete these 100 stages on each one, you know, I'll get the 100 crystals, which will help me unlock more stuff. Uh, things that you can use crystals on is, like I mentioned earlier, there's the um, costumes, right? So each costume costs a certain number of crystals. Most of them cost a 1,000. Um, there's a couple of 2,000s and one 500. I recommend you start with the 500. Uh, we're not watching that ad again. Um, but the 500 one is a good one just to start because it's cheap. You can still get that battery acquisition up a little bit and then move on to the 1,000. So the only thing is, I, and I made a mistake here, I didn't realize this. If you go with the 2001, even though it looks awesome, like here, check this guy out. He's got this Grim Reaper look and everything. He's an awesome looking Death Knight. That's what I, de I think a Death Knight should look like, right? Well, you go with that one. It costs way more batteries to upgrade this one. However, the battery acquisition benefits are much greater. Greater. So if you can save up the 2,000 crystals for it, it may be worth it. But if you're not getting a whole lot of batteries to start with, then you're gonna like you're not gonna get as good of a return on it. So if you're early in the game, you want to go with the cheaper costumes. If you're later in the game, you want to go with the lo uh, more expensive ones. All right. So that that bird was a normal thing. It gave me a normal pouch <laughs> of crystals. So anyway. Um, but that's that's my advice there. I would just get a few of the costumes, so I wouldn't try to get all of them right off the bat. The other thing you can spend crystals on, and this is what I'm currently saving up for, is these uh, companions that'll help you do more damage and do things. The little witch will actually kill skeleton birds for you automatically and allow them to spawn more often and stuff. There's some upgrades that you can do for her, which is really useful because those can be really useful. Uh, I'm not sure what this thing does. Uh, it kind of looks like a Pikmin or something. I don't know. It's a very odd little character, uh, but apparently he shoots lightning bolts at them. I don't know. I haven't seen this thing in action, so I have no idea what it does. But that's what I'm saving up for right now is the witch. Uh, so like I said, get your relics. Relics are really important early on as well. I kept rolling relics for a while there um, that, until I got all 28. I only bought like one costume before I finished all the relics. I don't know if that's the best thing to do, but it definitely helps a lot because there's a couple of relics that are really important. And let me just highlight them. So the first one, Sands of Time. That's the one that reduces your quest times, which is your gold income or your primary gold income. You definitely want to upgrade that one a lot. The other one that you want is Ancient Armor. And the reason why is because it upgrades your Death Knight level for batteries. And batteries are really cheap early on. Um, you can get this up pretty high uh, very quickly, much, much faster than what you'll get trying to uh, upgrade your character via the... Um, gold here right so the cool thing is to use these relics to improve your income on gold and batteries and stuff so you can improve these things more and then you can go and improve your guys uh base stats and all that but you have to kind of figure out the balance between these and i think it's fun right i'm not doing a guide here for like how you should do it because i don't want to tell you how to build things necessarily i'm just giving you a couple of tips right this is this is more of a feel your way through the game kind of situation where it's just fun and i think it's i think it's really important to kind of you know, just play the game and have fun with it. And, you know, don't worry too much about doing everything perfectly, right? So let me explain some of the buttons over here. Um, so like I said, you can click on your profile to check your stage info, your stats. You can also change your player icon up here by clicking on it. So any of the costumes you've unlocked, you can use as your uh, icon. 
Uh, another thing you can do is just below that is your ranking. So I am currently ranked 10,995 in the game. The game's been out for like two weeks. I started playing like three days ago. So I'm a little bit behind, I guess, on everybody else. But that's not the point. This game, I'm not playing competitively. It's for fun. Um, there's also this uh, chest drop thing. So if you click on that, every couple of hours, you can see I have a timer on it. It's about two and a half hours left on it. It'll give you a drop of like a chest or some crystals or something like that every couple of hours. You can click on this witches thing, which I believe is a special event going on right now. And what happens is as you play, you'll get bones to drop. So you roll the bones, you get stuff, right? You roll it again, you get stuff. It's pretty simple. Um, it'll tell you what you get, dark orb, whatever, gold, you know. And you just turn them in and basically the witch gives you some stuff. Uh, the other thing you can do is they have a daily calendar. You come in here, you, it'll show you when, when it's the next day. So it doesn't reset until 2 a.m. Central Time. Uh, but at that point, I'll get 10 sword draws, right, for free. So I can hit present and it'll be active. I can use that. The other thing I can do is click this uh, thing for five uh, roulette pools and then run it and just see what you get. Sometimes you get good crystals. Sometimes you get little boxes and gear and gems and stuff like that. And then when you get all that stuff, you can actually go in here and check your inventory. It's this uh, b b uh, backpack icon here go into the boxes thing and this is all the stuff that you can open the rest of this is your currencies and other things that you're holding on to so you just go in here you exchange like this is going to give me some c grade and b grade shields um there's a shield x2 for c grade star one right a through s gear uh there's a couple of a swords um here's some more crystals here's some more weapons right you just you, these are just random pools mostly they're garbage um and then got some more crystals. Oh, there's a bird. Yeah. So keep clicking on the birds whenever you see them. They're always free here. Uh, another thing you do is click on the calendar. Uh, again, this is just an attendance record thing that will give you free stuff every day. Uh, below that is your achievements. So every day there's a set of achievements that you're supposed to do. There's six missions, and when you complete them all, you'll get a whole bunch of crystals. Uh, for right now, as you play the game, though, you're going to get tons of crystals from all these achievements. You can see here some are 10, some are 30, some are 50, some are 20s. It just kind of varies as to what you're doing. And you basically just acquire it through playing the game normally. Um, another thing is the mailbox. Sometimes stuff gets sent to mail, and I'm not really clear why. I'm but you just open it, it goes in your inventory, you got it. Now settings down here, you can turn off the background music, you can turn down sound effects, you can uh, put damage on. It, there's a lot of things that you can change here. And um, yeah, so this is uh, pretty simple. Uh, you can buy stuff if you want in this game. I, I haven't spent any money on it. It's just for fun. Uh, I'm just playing with, with some friends from Trash Goblins. Stuff, guys, and uh, we're just hanging out. We're gonna get an alliance once they release alliances next week, and uh, we're just gonna hang out and chill. This is a very casual, fun game. So, if you're interested in playing, let me know. I can get you on our Discord. We can get you in. Uh, I have no idea where this game is gonna go. I've never played one of these idle type games before, so it's all new to me. Uh, but it's fairly easy, fairly straightforward, and very low maintenance. If you forget to play for a day. Who cares, right? <laughs> it's not a big deal. Uh, so let me show you a couple other things. The shop has some stuff for crystals. I would recommend early on not buying any of these things in the item shop, honor shop, or battery sh Well, oh, Well, the item and honor shop you don't really need right now. Battery shop will give you some stuff. Um, so getting milk to help upgrade your guy for batteries is pretty cheap early on. Dark orbs and crystals as well is not too bad. Uh, but you need to make sure that you're not spending past your income level on these because these are just incidentals. They'll always be here. They always continue to count up. Uh, they don't reset any at any point. So it's just if you you know outpace the cost of this with your battery generation, then you may want to pull some of this for extra stuff. Or if you're really close to something, you just need a little boost from one of these items uh, to get there that may be worth spending the batteries. Now the Amethyst shop does have this option to watch an ad every 30 minutes. And when you do watch an ad, you'll get uh, a number of crystals. And oh my god, it's that game again. <laughs> but this is why it's so free to play friendly, right? You don't really have to pay attention. It's just you can throw on the ad, let it run for 10, 20, 30 seconds, whatever it is, then close out of it and they give you the stuff and it's like, okay, cool, whatever. I got 80 crystals, good for me. Oh, it's like an RPG game. Oh, that's not the impression I got at all in the last commercial. <laughs> I hope this isn't targeted marketing. I don't know what I was doing to make this come up. Anyway, um, so I got 80 crystal there. Cool, you know, whatever. I rode to 4,000 so I can get my, my little flying witch. 
Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's do a cow dungeon real quick. So when you go to your player or this content profile thing over here, the cow dungeon is what you really need to use in order to unlock uh, milk and these green crystals and the dark orb things, right? So there are relics and things that'll uh, give you attack power, give you attack speed, give you runnings like movement speed. Um, all that helps you get through this faster because all it is is a short like 30 second to one minute game mode where it just sends cows at you and you have to kill cows as fast as you can. You get more milk, the more cows you kill, right? Um, if you can get something like a speed up you get so many prior, prior, oh god, okay, let me mute this for a sec. But if you can get one of these speed ups and the attack ups and all that right before going into the cow thing, you'll be in way better shape because your guy is going to get those bonuses in the cow fight. So that's really helpful to kind of increase the amount of stuff you get from it, right? So if you can get that and then go right in, you'll you'll get those bonuses and it'll help you get more out of it because those do factor into how you're uh, playing and how it works. Um, all right, so it's over, so I'm going to cancel out of that. Let me turn on the music again. All right, so now I got my movement speed, so I'm going to go ahead and here. I got five of these cow ticket things, which are precious. You want to make sure you're always hitting the highest level you can effectively and getting as much as you can out of this, right? So I have a cow king spawn chance of 34.2% because of all of my... Um, oh, my God, this might be too strong for me. Um, because of all those... Uh, because <laughs> all those relics and things that I have. Um, this is probably too high level for me. I didn't realize that it would be this difficult. Um, oops. <laughs> well, it's part of the game. You gotta learn somehow. Okay, don't do this. If you if you if it's too high level for you, then um, you're gonna have a bad time, which is what I'm about to have. This is a waste of a ticket for me. I think I'll kill one. I got 20 seconds left to finish this guy up. Normally you'd want to be swiping through these guys like at, as fast as you can. And yes, I killed one. So that's where 216.1a milk 20 green things. And, and here we go. And wow, that was my worst result ever. Uh, okay, so we're going to go back here to seven and we're going to do that one. So seven is going to be a lot easier, you'll see here. And they just, yeah, see how everything gets one shot? So you get lots and lots of kills. You kill cow kings, you get more stuff out of them because they're kind of like loot drops. And uh, it just makes it easier to uh, get more stuff. And then you can upgrade your dude and you can keep on moving forward in the game. So we'll let this run. It's got another 45 seconds. And do, 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 do. Kill cows over and over and over again. Turn up the music a little bit. It's got it's got a good good soundtrack to it. It's just this like you know fast paced rock music in the background. It's nice. I don't mind leaving it on sometimes. Unless I'm listening to something else. All right, so we're doing way better on this one. Uh, you can see here, 91 kill, oh, 140 kills total, 91 regular cows, 49 were the cow kings that give you the better loot drop. So I get a whole bunch of milk, get a whole bunch of green crystals, and uh, now, now if we go over to my character, we can go upgrade him a bit. So upgrading his base levels is important, but also you want to evolve him eventually too. So you can see here, I need a lot more milk to evolve, so I'm not going to get that unless I do like probably three plus more runs of Cow King at that level. Um, you can also use the milk to upgrade skills, and you can see here it also does speed, boost, and all that stuff. Um, not quite as important, I think, as these. I really like doing these upgrades in particular, because you can see the attack level just jump, right? So your attack's going from 38.8L to 47. That's like, you know, 20% jump, right? So that's pretty huge. Um, and that'll help you, you know, later in the game too, is just as you go through it. So from here on, um, let's see, I think that's pretty good. Uh, kind of covered a lot of the basics and whatnot on this game. Um, there's also a chat button here, if you notice this little red button here. There's three channels. So the first one's English from what I can tell. The second one is whatever that is. I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay. So I stay in channel one, but... 
It's kind of neat how you can like just play the game, but also chat at the same time. I know some games don't do that very well, uh, but it's kind of fun just to hang out. Like there's people that are in like the top ten that hot hang out in here and chat sometimes, and they'll give you some good nuggets of information. And uh, I don't know, it's just kind of funny how it works. So anyway, that's how this game works. Um, it's really simple. It's uh, it's pretty fun. It's a it's a nice just you know no brain kind of hang out like just play with your friends kind of game um, and it doesn't really require any participation that you want uh, it's, it's just do whatever you feel like right like if you screw up your build don't worry everybody's building towards the exact same goal eventually right all these relics are the exact same everybody else gets all these swords and shields and stuff I mean granted the SS ones are rare but everybody's eventually gonna get all the A through S tier stuff and build them up and level them up, right? So you can upgrade them. Uh, like I got those green crystals, so I could upgrade this one for some green crystals here. Um, and you know, there's just all these little things that you can do, which is kind of cool. Um, it's just, and you can also level up one, ten, or a hundred at a time. So if you're doing something new, you may want to do a hundred at a time because it'll go a lot faster. Uh, if you want to do something a little bit, uh, at a little bit slower pace, you could do the ten x at a time. So I can upgrade this one right here get more crit damage right that'll help my guy do a little bit more damage each time he hits there's all sorts of things you can do with this but it's a fun game it's just a little bit of a time waster um, one tip I'll tell you though the game does give you more benefits like as in rewards and stuff if you have it open and you're playing it you only get like 25% of the rewards when it's not open right so if your guy is doing this right now on auto on the infinite loop uh, whatever you're getting per second you'll get about a quarter of that per second uh, for the time that you're offline, right? That's your idle time, right? So if you have something like blue stacks, you could actually just leave this open in the background and just let it run all day and get the full rewards. Or if you don't really need your phone, you could always just leave it open and plugged in or whatever and put it on like power saver mode or something and just let it go, you know? And that'll give you more rewards. So if you're really interested in like maxing out as fast as you can, that's one way to do it. If you're just playing casually, then who cares? You know, just play it as you feel like. It only takes like five, 10, 15 minutes a day tops. If, if you want it to, you can take, you have to take more. It just depends on how active you want to be. But fun game, just uh, a little time waster if you need something else to try or something fresh. Uh, I don't get anything for promoting this. I'm just doing it for fun. I figured I'd make a video about it since I spent some time on it. And now I've spent almost 30 minutes talking about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you don't, um, I don't really care. It's just for fun. So anyway, hope you all uh, have a good one. If you want to get this, it's called Idle Death Knight. It is uh, on the app stores and all that. And it just launched like two weeks ago. So it's fairly new. Really small community. Not a whole lot of people. I just have a few friends that play it. So if you all want to join, just hit me up on Discord. You know where to find me. Anyway, y'all take care. Have a good one.